What's up YouTube? This is DEFCON 3 Security coming at you from somewhere here on Spaceship Earth. So today's topic will be um, Security Rant and Raves Episode 2. So here's the thing man. I don't know about you but there are some people I watch on YouTube only because I just want to hear them talk because they always throw a little piece of wisdom in there. Uh, you know there's people that talk about gosh I don't know auto repair website right but instead of talking about automobiles this guy's talking about his day grocery shopping or his uh, encounter at the doctor's office and I sit there and listen because I'm sort of fascinated about his day and um, you know I kind of let them talk in the background while I clean my garage or, or you name it so these security rent and rave episodes are just basically a day in the life of me and uh, <clears throat> you know it doesn't necessarily have to do with security but it's just a journal right if you will and uh, I may bring up security topics I may just talk about anything but uh, I will try to keep it somewhat entertaining so I got a list of things I need to do today and I'll tell you why if you if you want to tune in so I got a I got to call the uh, parts yard um, my Honda Civic there's something called an exhaust manifold the O2 sensor went out and as I was taking the O2 sensor out I noticed the exhaust manifold was cracked and you know I, I sh shopped around and I had a few people tell me well you can have somebody weld it shut now it is cast iron and I know that there's um, not a guarantee when you're welding with cast iron um, but that was an option and then I've got um, some people say uh, just go to a parts yard and pick up a used exhaust manifold why I'm not buying uh, a, a new one well let me tell you why I am in California right so for this 2000 Honda Civic an exhaust manifold is like 80 bucks but since I'm in California I have to have this special EPA emissions type um, manifold and that thing is six hundred dollars new I could not find a used one nor do I really think I want to spend four hundred dollars buying a, a used one and have the thing give out on me in a few days I'd rather take my chances go to the parts yard spend 30 bucks and maybe have it work so I've been calling around and sure enough they're telling me they're like 30 40 bucks uh, that's part of my day then I gotta call a lawyer so I got rear-ended oh back in May they had me go through the whole chiropractor thing had me repair my vehicle um, initially my insurance company said well this guy hasn't called us back to give us his side of the story therefore you are responsible for the accident I couldn't believe it I've never heard of that I went on Google I typed it in and sure enough if the other party does not uh, respond to your insurance company or their insurance company um, nothing happens you are responsible for the repairs until uh, until they get back and um, so that for for a while it, that's what was happening and they had me um, pay for the repairs on my vehicle so I paid for the repairs and then eventually I get a call back a month and a half later hey we got in contact with this guy yes he admitted guilt which naturally I mean he rear-ended me right um, so we have a check for you for the repairs that you paid out of pocket but since you got an attorney we cannot send the check to you we have to send it to your attorney and then your attorney will send it to you I knew this was gonna be a hassle so sure enough here we are more than a month later I haven't received a check from my attorney uh, but as a matter of fact, they're not even calling me back. My chiropractic has said you've been released. You are 100% healthy. And, um, you know, he says make sure you let your lawyer know that. So I emailed them, I text them, and I left them two voicemails and nothing. So now I have to try to go up the scale and find somebody else that works at that office to talk to. Uh, the next thing on my list is uh well i wanted to make a, a a video the one that i'm making right now so i figured you know i would do this 
every couple days maybe. Next time it'll be episode three and so forth. Uh, then it says get a smoker. So here's the thing, man. Working in security, you know, you got to eat. And I am tired of buying fast food. It's just, it's, it, I'm gaining weight. I mean, I am, I, I can't tell you how much weight I've gained this year. And it's embarrassing. And I, and I see it right here. And it just, it's aging me. It's weighing me down. And I'm sure it's affecting my health in some regards. So I started trying to cook at home and then bringing food here. I'd done this a couple months ago as well. And, you know, it lasted for a while. And then I got tired and started working graveyard shifts. So in the daytime, I didn't feel like preparing meals ahead of time. But, I mean, you get the idea. So lately, I've been saying to myself, okay, I'm going to start eating healthy again. Uh, one of the first things that I did was I baked the salmon in the oven, but I wanted to smoke it like I wanted smoked salmon But you can't smoke a salmon in an oven. Otherwise your whole house would be filled of smoke um, So I did try something different. I'm like, okay, let me put the salmon in the oven set it at like a hundred and forty degrees for five hours and see what happens and then I put this like stuff on it called liquid smoke so we gave it a smoky flavor and uh you know it tasted pretty good i actually out of a 10 i would give it like a seven and a half eight it, it was not bad um but honestly i enjoyed it so much that i thought i want to get myself a proper smoker right now if you don't know what a smoker it is it, it's sort of like a barbecue but instead of having a, a grill with charcoal on the bottom that just cooks it quickly it, it cooks it with smoke so you'll have some sort of um medium like wood chips flavored wood chips or these wooden pellets they go into something called a hopper and then it will slowly just cook it through smoke over the course of hours and when i say hours sometimes five six seven hours brisket people do it for 24 hours and then when you get it it's just absolutely delicious um if you've never tried it before try it I mean, I think we've all tried smoked salmon at some point or another, but that's the process in making it. So I did buy a, a smoker. It was used, uh, but it was cheap. It was $35. Retails for like $180. Uh, but I can't wait to test it out. It is a little dirty, so I'm going to power wash that sometime this week. Um, and uh, start bringing smoked salmon to work and uh, smoked sausage, things like that. The whole idea is I want to have a variety of options to bring like healthier foods to work. Today I have like Chinese, no it's not Chinese, it's Korean, um, Korean beef, um, Korean style barbecued beef or something rather, steamed rice, green beans, and corn. So um, yeah, that's on the menu today. All right, and then um, let's see what else. I need to get a USB fan. So um, I talked to another uh, person on here who subscribed and you know they recommended a fan. So I want to have a fan that plugs into my USB right here on my vehicle so it can blow air on me. Because right now I'm comfortable but I'm just a little bit warm. You can see the sun is on me. If it was just like three or four degrees cooler it would be perfect. But um, it's I'm not like super uncomfortable but just sitting here it would be nice to have a fan blow on me. But at the same time, the fan on my vehicle draws too much power. So I want something that just draws a little bit of power, maybe battery operated. I do have my little solar panel here at 10 watts. It should be more than sufficient to run that fan. So today I'm going to go um, to Walmart and see what they got. If not, the one gentleman recommended a USB fan on Amazon. Uh, I just kind of want to hold it in my hand first before... I purchased it. I want to. I want to see like how big it is. The one on Amazon was difficult to tell how big it is. And then, uh, and then also, I'm building a website. So I, I, I don't know if you know, but I've mentioned in a few other videos, I uh, buy and sell exotic insects. It's been doing really good for me. So I figured, okay, now it's time for me to um, start a website. I've been selling on eBay. It's doing good, but you know, you're hit with all these eBay fees and uh, so I'm gonna work on getting a uh, website together. Maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. I came up with a few names. I wrote them down right here. Um, I'll tell you guys after the video. I don't want somebody to scoop it up from under me. 
the uh, the names of the websites. I know my best friend would definitely, if I were to tell you guys what website I'm thinking of getting, he would buy it from under me and probably sell it to me for uh, five times the amount. Um, so yeah, so there's my day. That's just kind of what my day consists of. After this, uh, two o'clock, I'm off. It takes me 40 minutes to get home, 50 minutes. I'll go home, stretch a little bit. Around 3.30, start servicing swimming pools. That's my second business that I run. And uh, service the pools until 7, maybe 8 o'clock tonight. Because uh, it is Friday and it is my last day to finish all my pools. Uh, I have the whole week to do it. But sometimes I push it off and I push it off. And next thing you know, Friday, I'm like, damn. Uh, pool guys don't service pools on the weekend. Because people usually swim during the weekend. So you... Um, you know, so you don't want to interrupt their swimming by chlorinating a pool. So, um, there you go, guys. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Know your worth, know your value, value your time. Be safe.